And we're back to learn again, and this time I'm going to show you how to create a simple Amber's effect. Got the original right here and I'll copy it with this function. Let me rename the copy. And then make sure that you've got this layer active. Then we'll go to filters, distort, and there's a simple Amber's filter. It opens this menu, check the preview and you can see the effect applied in real time. In the drop down we've got Amber's and Bump Map. I'm going to show you this later on. Let's first take care of these three sliders. The elevation makes it basically lighter or darker. The depth, we could say that it adds more details or takes them away. And the last function, it only is a minor adjustment. I don't even know how to pronounce it correctly. I guess it's azimuth. You can see that it doesn't have that much of a huge impact, but it randomizes the results a little bit. Once you've got what you want, just use bump map right here. And you've got the effect that I've used for the thumbnail of this video. So this typical colored ambus effect. So this was the original, this is the result. It's easy to do, can be done to any photo. You can find the photo that I've used here via description link below and try it out yourself. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.